Hello and welcome to Video Jack. Well, way back in 1882, England lost at home for the first time to any touring team. Of course, it was Australia, because it was only Australians that we played in those days. And this was a terrible uh, situation for England for these young upstarts to come and show us how to play cricket. And the newspapers, of course, had a marvellous time. And the headlines went that English cricket died at the Oval in August 1882 and the body of English cricket should be cremated and taken to Australia. After the defeat at the Oval in 1882, uh, England toured Australia the following winter and a prominent lady from Melbourne, Florence Morphy, uh, she was friends with, with Lady Clark, Lord and Lady Clark, and these two ladies at a match played on a private ground. Uh, the story is that they burned the bales of this match and they also went into the house, the big mansion, and they found this receptacle, which we now know as the urn. They burned the bales, put the ashes in, and uh, they are the ashes, or so purported to be the same ashes that are in the urn to this day. In Australia, after the ashes had been produced, uh, they, they were presented by Florence Morphy at a dinner subsequently, uh, they were presented to the England captain, the Honourable Ivo Bly, and he then brought them home uh, with his team, but he went back to Australia, continued his courtship of Florence Morphy, proposed to her, and uh, she accepted. They got married and they lived in the Sunbury district of Melbourne for a while before returning to England. Uh, after he'd been home a couple of years, his elder brother Lord Darnley died and uh, he became the 8th Earl of Darnley in Rochester in Kent, Cobham Hall. And uh, there they stayed because he had them in his drawing room. They stayed there without ever moving and they certainly weren't played for, only mythically played for. They were never exchanged hands. When he died in 1927, he had uh, left a request that the urn with the ashes should in fact be taken to Lords to the MCC, the Marylebone Cricket Club, for their safekeeping. We do now have a uh, secondary urn, which does travel, and uh, it's only been for about seven or eight years now. Uh, that's a crystal glass, much bigger version, because the original version is only four and a half inches tall. Um, there's a bigger version Christa, from Waterford Crystal Company in Ireland, and that was presented originally to Mark Taylor uh, around about 1998, 99 and uh, uh, that has never been in England until this last summer when we won the Ashes. Now they're both out in Australia at the moment. If, we, if England win the series he will bring both back, but uh, if we lose we will only bring the original urn. That will be coming back home, but the other one will stay in Australia.